Welcome back. The Cherokee, Cherokee Lady Braves have been on the ascent for the last couple of seasons. And this week, getting a pretty big boost of confidence, named Class 3A's number one team in the weekly polls and getting their first test of that new ranking tonight at Western Christian. These two teams split the season series one year ago, and the Braves start off hot. Tegan Slaughter, future Briarcliff Charger, hitting the triple. Cherokee opens up with a 7-0 run, and the trace just kept coming. Grace Anderson wide open here, and the Braves take a double-digit lead. Wolfpack trying to muster a comeback. First shot, no good, but Ellie Doctor right there for the putback. Western Christian still trailing, though, and the Braves Forced to turn over Jermaine Nichols up court. Great feed to Alexis Pangle for the points. Braves led after one. They led throughout. They moved to 8 0, 52 42. Over in Sheldon, 2A's number one squad, Boyden Hall visiting the ORABS. And it's Sheldon that gets the first points of the day. Shane Brower in the paint. Got to get up close for that one. Sheldon takes the early lead, but it didn't last long. Cody Noble to Marcus Kelderman for the finish. Comets go in front. A little later, Tanner Tesla with this one. He gets the triple. Comets go up seven. Towards the end of the first, Dayton Brunsting, the jumper in the lane. He had double digits in the first quarter alone. Comets cruise to the win over Sheldon, 60 to 49. Now over to the girls matchup between these two. Comets had a huge lead at halftime, but second half, Sheldon looking to come back. Brooklyn Grady muzzling her way in for a pair. Then towards the end of the third, Claire Johnson left alone. She knocks it down, and just like that, the 15-point deficit is down to four. Boyton Hall striking back, though. Emma Zoet, good from long range. That'll extend the Comets' lead. And then later, Marissa Potterbaum, the dagger in the paint. She had 22 as the Comets make it a sweep, 51 to 46. Over in Hinton, the Blackhawk boys hosting Harris Lake Park after Hinton girls got an early win. First half, Glenn Carlson squares up from deep. Blackhawks jump out to the early 22-12 advantage. But the Wolves battle back. Bubba Sone, the hoop and the harm. Cuts it to a five-point game. Second half zone to Brady Bulls, cutting that hit and lead to one, 36-35. But the Blackhawks keep their foot on the gas. Gavin Nelson, the drive, the spin into the bucket. That's a hometown roll if I ever saw one. Blackhawks get the sweep, 63-58. Back in Sioux City, the Sergeant Bluff Luton boys taking on Sioux City East after the girls game was postponed yesterday. Opening minutes, Machak Machuk, big rejection at the glass in transition. Now Nick Muller, one of his four first half threes, putting SBL in front. Brad Van Dyke, big first half as well. Nice move in the post, 21 points for the sophomore tonight. Later, Raiders on a run, and it's B. Ray in transition. He gets the slam. East holds off the Warriors 63-58. to 58. 